Federation Square is going to change Melbourne for the better. It's going to make us the really the international city in Australia. One of the central challenges of the design competition for Federation Square was the creation of a public space, a contemporary urban and civic space for the people of Melbourne, but also that contains some of the unique qualities of Melbourne. As architects, you, you test and you think about the possibilities that could happen in the space, but I, I would honestly say it's exceeded what we imagined could happen. My partner and I often take part in what we call our Tourism Sunday. So we have a Sunday off to come into the city and we generally end up in Fed Square. And we come to the wine shows, um, microbreweries, we've been to the markets. Um, because there's so much diversity and variety in what's offered, there's always something going on that we can come in. Federation Square as the central civic space of Melbourne is in a way obliged to create alternative public experiences, to be the, the space in which alternative public experiences are tested. It's a space in which the public get to understand how to relate to each other in either conventional and expected ways or unexpected in new ways. Multicultural events of Fed Square are really significant because it brings a lot of diverse communities together in a place of great significance in terms of Australian history. During the light and winter, it's, it's magical when you come down and um, you know it's lit up and the fires burning for the entire um, festival. The, the movement of people and artists across the square um, moving from, you know, from dance meets indigenous or, or Indian storytelling, the deaf community participating, having the drums going and it was just, it was just really vibrant. What's happened in the last 10 years has been amazing, significant cultural moments.
my own memories of these are the Iraq war protests, the visits from the Queen, the Obama's inauguration of the Australian Open, Cadell's great victory recently. Another great moment was Sorry Day, the national apology to stolen generations. Thousands of people watching on the big screen, the Prime Minister, make this incredibly important public proclamation. And in a similar way, the Homeless World Cup found a home here as well, where for a few days, some of the most marginalised people in the world had a home right in the heart of the city. These are great events and every time there's a big event, people come here to Federation Square. They understand that this is kind of the city's assembly space. In some ways, Federation Square is like the homepage for the city. Uh, it's the way that Melbourne nurtures the relationship between its people. It's kind of the city's living room. Maybe in the square, maybe in front of the stage, maybe at time out in the atrium. People gather around, there's a big screen, people talk, they share. It creates harmony, it humanizes the city. It's not one thing, but many things simultaneously.